Salve, salve, amantes da simulação, Marcos Drummond com vocês aqui mais uma vez. E é isso mesmo, mais uma novidade aqui no canal, é Firefighting Simulator The Squad. É um jogo da Astragon, produzido pela Cronos, né? e que a, Astra, que a Astragon mandou para a gente gentilmente um aqui, para a gente poder exibir para vocês aí, desse jogo. Então é mais uma conquista do canal por causa de vocês única e exclusivamente por causa de vocês tá é, eu acabei que comecei o jogo é, eu achei que fosse igual aos, aos outros jogos né e a gente podia tá recomeçando mas esse aqui parece que não aí ele tem essa aqui que é a missão de batismo de fogo que é a introdução tá bom é o branco nova missão missão cumprida a gente não tem ainda é, as bloqueadas são né a gente tem que ganhar XP para elas é que eu vou fazer eu vou fazer a introdução que é o batismo tá e depois nós vamos fazer aqui ó o tutorial beleza o sendo treinamento para a gente poder estar tá sendo habilitado para aprendendo né fazer novas novas missões a que o jogo se propõe Beleza? Que aí, eu não sei se vai dar um vídeo ou vai dar dois, mas nós vamos, é, nós vamos brincar aqui, beleza? A princípio não vai dirigir, então eu estou com o volante aqui à toa. É meio que um tutorial essa primeira missão. Então tá aí, é, gráficos bem bonitos, né? É, eu pelo menos gostei, particularmente gostei dos gráficos do jogo. É, não sei quanto a vocês, é, me atendeu bem. Eu vou colocar o link da, eu tô com um rodado com esse astro algum aqui. Vou colocar ele aqui, ó. Dá mais um cantinho. E o Firefighting tá bom ali. É, então é um jogo em terceira pessoa que nós vamos estar tá fazendo um salvamento, né? Contra o fogo. Combatendo fogo, salvando vidas, arrumando formas de entrar dentro de construções, tá bom? É, então vamos lá. Vamos tirar alguém do quarto. Então você corre com o shift. O cara vai me dar uma, uma halligan. Então a gente arruma a porta. Vamos pegar o cara agora, carregar com o E. O próprio jogo já está dando a diga para a gente. O caminhãozinho aqui já ensinando. E o fogo ardendo ali. Barulho realmente impressionante. Muito bem feito, né? 
And uh, thank you, Carson. Thank you, Astragon. Thanks. We'll take you from here. We can get back to putting out fires. And Thanks for getting me out of here. Thank you for trusting my job once time again. Então a gente tem esses alvos aqui, ó. A gente apagando, né? E o fogo queima com vontade mesmo. Tem nada esse cara aqui não apagar aqui, né? Então concluímos o objetivo, né? são 7 minutos de vídeo, eu vou começar lá a fazer os treinamentos para vocês poderem ver um pouquinho do que, que o jogo pode fazer, tá? eu espero que eu consiga fazer tudo em um vídeo só, é, são treinamentos simples, mas eu não garanto, né? então aí ele libera a gente aqui o centro de treinamento, nós vamos lá, thank you for the time again for Carsten, Astragon. Thank you for the confidence in my work, ok? I, I, I will show this game so deep, 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 explore everything, ok? Então a gente vai aprender aqui agora lidando com portas e janelas, portas e paredes, perdão. This training exercise will get you familiar with using forcible <coughs> entry tools on doors and walls. Walk forward and open the door. Vai à frente, abre a porta. A porta já está aberta. Estrancada. Então, tranquilo. Essa a gente temos que usar uma com aquela situação lá do, do incêndio, né? Deixa aqui no chão. Acho que eu não deixei a Maria. Então essa aqui é mais uma novidade do canal. Né, agora a gente tem mais um jogo para a gente brincar, explorar. Né. Temos aí a Saraguena nos deu aí o. O Bus Simulator. 2018. There's no available door. Create your own. You can break through some walls using any forcible entry tool. Look for the cracks in the wall and break through it with your axe.
Examine the wall for cracks and break through with your axe. Good work. Um pouquinho bugado, mas. <coughs> tá tranquilo. É, então a gente tem aí o Bus Simulator 2018. To enter and exit rooms and buildings. Now, grab either tool on the bench, walk over to the window and smash it open. Okay, now climb through the window into the next area. Job done. Now climb through the window. Terminamos mais um, né? então como eu ia dizendo, temos o Bus Simulator, temos o The Fern Bus, temos o Toast Bus, temos o Firefighting, temos o ETS, o ATS, os mods agora do ETS, vamos ter o The Bus, né? cada vez mais jogos para mostrar para vocês. Né? Pick up the circular saw from the ground. Good. Now use the saw to cut the lock on the vent ahead. You have to be careful, so aim for the indicated target. Nice. Once more, pick up the saw from the ground. Now walk over to the garage and use the saw to cut the locks on the door. Cut both locks to open the door. Cuidar do tempo para ver se a gente consegue fazer tudo hoje. Né? Ok, now reconnect yourself to the ladder and climb back down to the ground. Ok, now reconnect. Now, climb up to the window. You've equipped a Halligan tool. Use it to... Nice. Now use the door to go outside and climb the ladder up to the roof. Now superior. Okay, now climb back down and we'll continue. Job done. Então, concluímos o trabalho. Aprendemos a, aprendemos a usar a escada. With this training exercise, we'll familiarize you with how quickly fire can spread. Okay, stay where you are and just watch the fire spread. Notice how fast it jumps from object to object. <coughs> Good work. Now, 
grab a hose and try to put out both grease fires. The water doesn't help, does it? In fact, it makes it worse. Water and grease fires don't mix. To fight grease and chemical fires, we'll need to use a portable CO2 extinguisher. Grab an extinguisher and aim it at the base of both fires. Sweep the extinguisher side to side on the flames to make sure you put it out. Good work. When out on calls, look for different types of flames so you can be ready for any grease or chemical fires you run into. This training exercise will familiarize you with how to effectively fight a fire using the hose aiming interface. All right, grab a fire hose and enter the door in front of you. Quench that fire with the attack. Look at the on-screen indicators in proximity to where the water hits the flame and learn how they can help you to assess the firefighting problem. Don't hesitate to change your position to get a better aim. This helps you quench the fire as quickly as possible. Fires out. You may have noticed the sparks coming from the lamp on the table. These sparks can and will reignite the fires after you put them out. This can create a dangerous situation of potential fires in areas you thought were safe. There it comes. Since electricity will restart the fire multiple times, the best way to deal with electrical fires is to cut the main power by finding and using the building's fuse box. So, instead of wasting water on an electrical into the next room. <clears throat> All right, since you already know how to deal with grease fires, grab an extinguisher and put those fires out. You'll notice that both the attack hose and the CO2 extinguisher use the same interface to help you put out fires as efficiently as possible. Okay, fires out. Job done. mais um agora ele dando com a fumaça a gente está com 19 minutos this will get you up to speed on smoke how it affects your vision and how to effectively clear it smoke is dangerous and can seriously harm you which is why you'll always be equipped with an SCBA system to ensure you can breathe in any situation when going into a smoke filled area be sure to use your helmet mounted flashlight it'll really make a difference Turn it on now before entering the building. Smoke rises. Getting below the neutral plane of the smoke keeps you in cooler air and improves your vision of the area. Stay below the smoke level by crouching. The best way to deal with smoke is to eliminate it. Venting a room allows the smoke to clear and makes it easier for you to see any dangers. This will... Go ahead and open. Okay, 
You know the drill. Stay low and open all the windows to clear the smoke. Now, open the door and enter the next area. Okay, we're going to take a different approach for this room. A smashed window is just as effective as an open window. If you need to vent smoke but run into a locked window, don't let that stop you. Grab a tool off the bench and smash both windows. Nice work. The smoke will clear out in no time. In this next phase, we'll take a slightly different approach. If you still have the forcible entry tool, use it to smash open one or both of the windows. If you don't have a tool, grab one off the bench. It's smoky in here too. Remember to stay crouched to improve your visibility as the smoke clears from the window you just smashed. Now, open the door and enter the next room. Okay, you know the drill. Stay low and open the window to clear the smoke. You did it. Temos mais um reconhecendo ignição explosiva. Now we're going to learn about one of the most dangerous situations you'll ever encounter. A backdraft. Backdrafts often surprise even experienced firefighters. Backdrafts occur when the oxygen within a room has been used up and then more oxygen is rapidly reintroduced into the area. This is caused by opening a door or window in an oxygen depleted environment. When backdrafts occur, fire explodes out of the door or window and can become a fast-moving fireball, causing damage to anything in its path, and can even badly injure you. Okay, enough talk. Now we're going to show you a backdraft event, so you can know what to look for if you're in a potential backdraft situation. First, walk over to the window on the left and look into the room. You'll notice that the room is full of smoke, but there are no visible signs of flames. This indicates that the room is above its upper flammability limit. This means that the gas or vapor in the air is capable of producing a flash fire. It just needs an ignition source, oxygen. Okay, look at the locked door on the left. Notice that the door is different than other doors and has signs of a potential backdrop. In addition to the room being full of smoke with no visible flames, there's also smoke at the base of a door along with a pulsing sound. Do you hear it? It's a low thud. This sound seems like it's repeating because the room's trying to suck air into it. It needs oxygen to reignite the fire. <clears throat> okay, the door's unlocked. Open the door, but immediately back away from it to avoid the blast from the back. in this room, then move through the door into the next room and extinguish the fire there. Put out the fires in this room, then go through the door and into the next room and extinguish the fire there. Good work. Now notice that the next locked door has signs of a potential backdraft. Do you see the smoke at the base? Do you hear the pulsing sound? Okay, the door's been unlocked. Like last time, open the door, but remember to immediately back away from it to avoid the back. Okay, you know what to do. Put out the fires in this room, then move through the door to get to the next room so you can extinguish the fires in there.
Good work. As I said before, even experienced firefighters can be surprised by backdrafts. So pay attention to any closed door that you approach and look for signs of backdraft. It could save your life. É, faltando mais três, acho que nós vamos completar o tutorial hoje, né? Familiarize you with setting up attack hoses to fight fires and show you how to connect a fire truck to a hydrant water supply. First, we'll establish a water supply line. This ensures you never run out of water when fighting fires. Now, walk over to the indicated compartment on the truck and grab a supply hose. The supply hose is the yellow one. Okay, now, look directly at the... Nice job. Walk over to the indicated fire hydrant. Good. Just like the connector on the truck. Head over to the indicated connector on the other side of the truck and connect the supply line to it. Head over to the indicated connector on the other side of the truck and connect the supply line to it. Like before, remove the cap, unroll the hose, and attach the hose coupler to the truck supply line connector. Attach the hose coupler to the truck supply line connector. Just like before, grab the coupler on the ground. Good. Now walk over to the indicated part of the truck where you can connect the attack hose. They're normally next to the water supply line connectors. As with the supply line, you'll need to first remove the cap from the truck. Unroll the hose and then connect the hose coupler to the truck. Nice. We're going to need a nozzle for the attack line. The nozzle allows you to increase or stop the flow of water as needed. Now, pick up the coupler from the ground and walk to the back of the truck. Open the lower compartment and swap the hose coupler with a nozzle. Now that you have a nozzle, Look directly at the coupler on the ground and attach it to your nozzle. Good work. All right. You started a huge pallet fire. Utilizing the heat air base for the previous strain, use the attack hose to put out the entire fire. Try to extinguish the fire as quickly as possible because we're timing you. Lowest time score against bragging rights. Go. Clock is starting. Put out the fire as quickly as you can.
work. Fires out. Job done. É, rapaz, vai gastar o dedo do mouse isso aqui, viu? Comandos do esquadrão. With this training exercise, you'll give commands to your squad mates. This will allow others to complete tasks for you while you focus on other objectives. Have a look at the upper right corner of your screen. You can see the AI indicator along with the associated shortcut. Point at the circle on the ground and press the shortcut for the AI that you've just seen in the upper right corner. The AI character will now walk to the indicated location. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now direct the AI to the second circle, followed by the third. Yes, Commander. Well done. You've just learned how to give go to commands. Now call the AI to your position. To give the command, hold down the AI shortcut key until the status icon in the upper corner changes to the follow symbol. The AI will now follow you. Yes, sir. Walk along the waypoints. As you can see, the AI is following you in close proximity as you move around. As you can tell, the AI is very closely following your movements. Go ahead and instruct the AI to wait. Let's continue with the final part. Two victims need help in that building. Your mission? Rescue them. Head through the door and into the building. I've got your back, boss. The door's locked. Instruct your AI to equip a Halligan tool and come to your location. Yes, Commander! You can instruct the AI to open the door for you. AI can interact with all context-sensitive objects like doors, windows, victims, and many others. Now, follow the indicated on-screen interaction. The AI squad can grab a hose and start contact with the fire. Door is open, boss! Got your back, boss. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. I'm on. There's another fire in the next room. Command the AI to deal with the fire there, too. Give another go-to command to send the AI into the room with the fire. Okay, I'll check the door, boss. Fires are extinguished. Don't forget to get both victims to the paramedics. Use the AI shortcut again while aiming at the victim. While the AI is bringing the victim to safety, they're no longer available for other commands because their main priority is getting the victim to the paramedics. Go ahead and carry the other victim to the paramedics yourself to finish this training mission. Okay, I'll check the door, boss. Copy that. I'll follow you. Yes, Commander.
E agora o último. This training exercise will familiarize you with how to use ladder trucks and aerial arms to attack fires from above and to rescue victims in elevated locations. Before extending the truck's ladder, we must first stabilize it and ensure that the truck will not tip over with the ladder boom extended. Walk over to the indicated control panels and extend all the truck's outrigger arms. While deployed, the outrigger arms simultaneously bypass the vehicle's movable suspension and gives the truck an overall wider stance, making the entire rig more stable. Okay, all the outriggers are extended. Walk over to the indicated area and engage the ladder boom controls. Good. The ladder arm offers you three degrees of movement. Up, down, left, right, and forward, backward. Extending the ladder arm forward and backward effectively lengthens and shortens the length of the ladder. Now, use the indicated controls and move the ladder in the up and down directions. Good. Now, use the indicated controls and move the ladder in the left and right direction. Now, use the indicated control. The player can exit the bucket by pressing the use key. Player can exit the bucket by pressing the use key. Player can exit the bucket by pressing the use key. Hmm. Hmm. Olha isso aí, ó. E aí faça faça se exit luz. the bucket and rescue the victim by interacting with them and returning to the bucket. Okay, you've saved one victim. Now position the bucket near the other indicated roof and wait for the victim to reach the bucket. Okay, you've saved one victim. Now position the bucket near the other indicated roof and wait for the victim to reach the bucket. Okay, you've saved one victim. Now position the bucket near the other in. This victim is unconscious, so you'll have to carry them back to the bucket.
um pouquinho complicado, mas nós vamos chegar lá. É porque o tio é meio burro. Press the indicated button now to switch back to controlling the bucket movement to try it out. When you've relocated the bucket to a better location, switch back to controlling the nozzle and extinguish the fires. Press the indicated button now to switch back to controlling the bucket movement to try it out. When you've relocated the bucket to a better location, switch back to controlling the nozzle and extinguish the fire. Fires are out. Job done. Congrats! You've completed the firefighter training course and are ready to <coughs> handle any situation so you can save as many lives as possible. Feel free to return to the training facility to practice your skills if you need help with the more difficult emergency calls you may encounter. Remember, we train today to be safe tomorrow. Bom, tirando a escada e a mangueira, acho que foi tranquilo, né? Então, é, o primeiro episódio é esse, né? Então, treinamento, início e treinamento, tá bom? Fica aqui meu muito obrigado mais uma vez a vocês pela, pela força, né? Porque graças a vocês que nós conseguimos esse jogo. Thanks once a time again, Karsten. Uh, if you want to send to me more and more games, I will explore, ok? I promise. Valeu, galera. Tudo de melhor sempre. Obrigado por quem assistiu o vídeo até agora. Dê o like, comente, compartilhe com seus amigos, seus colegas. Se inscreva e dê o um follow no canal lá no Instagram, tá bom? Valeu, um abraço, fico com Deus, falou, fui.